everybody, Carl here from Apt, and we've got another Samsung TV to unbox for you here in this video. This time it's the Q80T. So we're gonna open up the box, show you guys what accessories come inside, and then kind of go over our first initial impressions. So stay tuned. Here we are on the back of the TV, and this is where all your inputs are gonna be located. Up at the top are two USB inputs, and then right underneath those, there's an optical audio out, and right under that is HDMI number four, which is actually HDMI 2.1. You can see there's a video game controller on there. Right under that is HDMI three, which is also an enhanced audio return channel. Then you have two more HDMI inputs, followed by an ethernet connection, RS-232C, and an antenna hookup. Here we have all the accessories that come in the box. We've got our obvious paperwork, the quick setup guide. And we've got our Samsung One remote with uh, slightly updated buttons to show the Samsung Channel Plus on there along with uh, Prime Video and Netflix and some batteries for that one, as well as a power cord and then some screws that are gonna go along with the center mounted pedestal. This one comes with a kind of a heavy metal base plate and then a plastic portion that's gonna stick up from that and attach to the back of the TV. So we've got the pedestal assembled and attached to the back of the TV. We ran through the initial setup, and now we've got our very first picture up on here. And right off the bat, it's looking really, really good. If we go into the menus here, we'll just take a quick look and see what it comes set for right out of the box. Now this is the first TV in their lineup this year that's gonna be full array local dimming, so it, it does look really good. You can tell that it has local dimming just uh, based on what we're watching here so far. Uh, and as we look here, the picture mode that it's going to come with out of the box is standard. And then the other one to check is motion. So we'll see where we're at with motion. Looks like it comes set to auto for the picture clarity. You can choose to do it custom as well to sort of mess around with the settings a bit. Or you can turn it off, which is what I prefer. We're going to leave it on auto for now. And we'll just take a quick look there's all settings, device care. So really the standard stuff that you're gonna see on most of the Samsung TVs this year, you do have a, a game mode option here that we'll go over in our full review of this TV. But overall, it's really nice. This one is also the first one in their lineup that has ultra wide viewing angle technology built in. So those are kind of the initial impressions of the Samsung Q80T. So far, so good. Again, we are gonna do that full overview, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into it, kind of check out that HDMI 2.1 on the fourth input for the HDMI, and uh, just explore it a little bit more and kind of give you guys more information on the Q80T. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you get that update whenever we upload that new content, and we'll see you in the next one.